What's going on guys, Apple Advance here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download GBA for iOS back again on our iOS 6, 7, 8, 9, and you can be on the iOS 10 betas. Now if you guys want to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now, and let's begin with today's tutorial. Now first off, I just really want to say a little quick thing. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody who's been subscribing lately. In the past month alone, I've attained more than 1,000 subscribers. The more, the most I've ever gained, and in ever. Um, it's amazing. I love the support that you guys are showing me. I actually have a whole notification squad now, and I never thought I would actually get to the point where actual people would have my notifications turned on. But um, obviously, a lot of people are seeing that it pays off and stuff like that. So the amount of support I've been getting is crazy, and I uploaded a Providence video showing you how to, how to, you know, how to get a Game Boy emulator, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and tons of other emulators on just one emulator itself, Providence. Well, some people were saying it just didn't work for them, and you know I find it confusing why it didn't work for them. Maybe they were doing something wrong. So, you know, I was getting tons of comments saying that. I mean, I really don't know why, and I'm not going to really look into it that much as I, you know, I just found out a new method, and I literally just spent the last two hours of my life, like I did for a way older Providence video, I spent three hours of my life finding a new method for Providence because GB Fry was wasn't being brought back. So today, I put so much dedication into finding you guys a new GBA for iOS app um, that has been signed, and it's not by iEmulators, it's not by any other site that I've ever used before, because I've been having to go in the, the deep and darkest depths of the internet, not the dark web or anything like that, but the very deep into the internet just to find this working method. So please, if you could drop a like on this video, you know, it's much appreciative. Um, you know, it always helps out in the end. I love the support that you guys give me. You know, thank you guys for like 1,800 subscribers. I mean, that number is crazy to me. We're on the way to 2,000 and I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 2,000. So the quicker we get to it, the quicker you guys get that giveaway. Now, um, enough of my rambling. I'm just going to get on to the video and show you guys how to download your favorite emulator back. So you want to head over to the link in the description below. I'll take you to the site right here. And it'll actually be pre-already um, um, saying like GBA in your search box. And that's the perfect thing. You don't even have to search GBA um, on GBA for iOS on the app or anything. It'll already be actually installed there. So basically, it should just look just like this. And you want to click this button on the side of GBA for iOS. Once you click on it, it's going to say install. And and you just basically want to let it um, just load up and install. Now, I haven't seen any other creators and nobody do a video like this before. So, this is all the credit goes to me. So, if you ever do a video on this, please credit me as it really took me a long time to do this video. I mean, a long time. And I'm putting tons of effort into my videos. Like I said before, I don't put efforts into my actual video video. I put effort into actually researching the methods, actually finding the methods and stuff like that that and that's why um, if you were ever wondering like I mean you just sit there record for like two minutes then you just make a thumbnail and then you upload it a lot more work goes into my videos than just that but basically once you have it installed once you click on it, it's gonna say untrusted enterprise developer you want to click cancel head on to your settings then you want to scroll down so you can find general now once you're on general do you want to scroll down so you can find profiles advice management click on it scroll down again until you find this application um, text right there you want to click trust on it click trust again and then once it loads up that's really it and when you click on it you'll have access to your favorite